Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we will discuss about the introduction to SQL. Introduction to SQL. So first let us discuss about what is an SQL and what is the importance of SQL and then we will move on with the SQL. What, is, uh, what exactly we have to learn in the SQL. So SQL stands for Structured Query Language. Structured Query Language. And this SQL is used to work with the databases. The main use of SQL is to work with database. So we know that database means the collection of uh, tables if it is a relational database right there are different types of database so we have already recorded about uh, the different types of databases in our channel so please go through that so the link will be in the description section so if it is a relational database so the data will be stored in terms of a tables so the database will be having lot of tables so table 1 similarly table 2 right table 3 etc so we'll be having a different tables in a single database then if you want to, so what exactly there will be in table so a table will be having data right data data so the data will be in terms of uh, rows and columns right rows and columns so if you want to access this data okay if you want to access this data that means accessing or manipulating on data so we need a language called structured query language so this query language is used to access or manipulate the data which is available in the database right so accessing means reading Manipulation means adding or removing. Both, both we can call it as a manipulations, right? So everything will be done with the help of this query. So without using the SQL, you can't access or manipulate the data available in the database. Then, so in order to execute this SQL, we are going to use a different DBMS tools different dbms tools right so those dbms tools so mysql sql server oracle so etc etc or all the different dbms tools so whatever the tool we are using the SQL is a common language which is used to access or manipulate the data from the tables which are available in the database. Right? So here the query means the query means commands. The query means commands. So with the help of commands, we are going to access the data. Accessing means reading or writing. So usually we call them as CRUD operations, we will call it as a CRUD operations. So, all the CRUD operations can be done with the help of this query. So, CRUD operations means create, so creating the database, creating the tables, read, so accessing the data, update, so we can update the data, delete. So we can delete the data from the table. So usually this we call it as a CRUD operations. So create, read, update and delete. Now what can we do with the help of this SQL? So we are saying the accessing and manipulation. So 
a little bit elaborate this term i will little bit elaborate this term so we can create a database so everything will be done with the help of a commands okay sql commands we call them as a sql commands next create table so inside the database we can create the tables alter database so if you want to change the structure of a database then also we can use the alter alter table altering the table that means updating the table reading data so reading the data from the tables update the data so we can update the tables i mean the data tables data delete database so we can also delete the database we can also delete the tables we can also delete the data inside the table data inside the table right so all these operations all these operations can be done can be done using sql commands sql commands so for every operation we have to write some query query is a command okay so here the commands are divided into different categories so that we have already discussed in the previous session like a dbms languages now uh, once again i'll revise that one so now these sql commands are categorized into different ways so let us see that commands what are the different commands and uh, from the next uh, sessions i will elaborate each and every command i will explain each and every command by executing in the dbms tool we'll use a sql server so which is a free source so we'll execute each and every command in the sql server uh, my sql right so here sql commands are divided into different categories so let us take the categories so one is data definition language so usually we call it as a ddl ddl commands ddl commands data manipulation language so usually we call it as a dml commands dml commands data control language so usually we call it as a dcl commands so the next one is transaction control language which we call it as a tcl so all the sql commands are categorized into four ways one is a data definition language data manipulation data control and data transaction control right so usually we call all these as a different dbms languages we call as a dbms languages so here data definition means which updates the table okay which updates the table structure so the commands will be create alter drop create alter drop so these are very few commands which changes the table structure and these are the data manipulation so as the name indicates here 
the commands which are used to change the data inside the table. So, selection in order to read the data, updation, we can update the existing data, insertion, we can insert the data, deletion, we can also delete the data. And also here, there is a one more command called truncate, truncate, right? And these are the few commands which comes under the data manipulation language. Data control language. So grant and revoke. That means, so the database administrator will give the permissions or privileges to the users, right? So granting the services to the user and taking back the permissions from the user is a revoke. So this comes under the data control, right? And transaction control, commit, rollback, commit and rollback. So which will confirm the transaction and which will undo the recent transaction. So these are the very few comments, okay, very few comments. So, comes under this SQL. So, data definition, data manipulation, data control and the transaction control. Right? So, this is all about our SQL. SQL is a structured query language which is used to access the data from the database. So, whatever the database management tool you are using, either Oracle or MySQL or SQL Server, so the data can be accessed from the database by using only the structured query language where query is nothing but a command command right so these comments are divided in these categories so let us stop here and in the next session we'll see all these commands one by one so what is the syntax and how we can create the database how we can create the tables how we can read the data from the tables how can we update the tables so each and every command i will demonstrate in the mysql right so let's stop here and uh, this is all about the introduction to structured query language so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubt regarding this introduction feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much